Hey y'all, I'm back with a process video on how I created my Thankful 30 album. I'll be sharing how I put it together, but I won't have the final outcome or the process videos on how I decorate it until I um, actually document my Thankful 30, which will be in November. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed some pocket pages that were I think like six by eight size and I cut them down and I'm making several three by four pockets and several four by four. For the three by four pockets, I added some washi on the side where the holes are to cover up those holes because I'll be repunching those. For the four by four pocket, it actually left two slits and I only need one obviously to fill it in. And so I used some washi to seal that. And that's the side that I'll be punching my holes as well. So I've already done several of them. I'm just gonna show you a, an example here on how I did um, the three x four pockets and the four x four pockets. And you do the exact same thing with, for the rest. Next, I'll be sharing how I created my front and back cover. I just cut a couple of pieces of um, card, not cardboard, but chipboard. And you can use like a cereal box or you can use um, anything you have on hand. I have this chipboard that I bought from Michaels a while back and they, it just comes in 12 by 12 sheets. And I cut it to about four and a half by four and a half, I believe. And then I am going to um, now figure out what paper that I want to adhere to the front and back covers. Now that I figured out my front and back covers and I set those aside, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting my um, pattern papers for the inside. So the inside of the book will actually have a mixture of pocket pages and it will have pattern papers as well. My idea or kind of like the thought behind it is to use the pockets for the cards that came in my feature craft kit, which all of them are the same, they just have different colors and they say today I'm thankful for which is perfect and then I can journal what I'm thankful for and on the other side of the page I can um, adhere my photo and then do some decorating if that makes sense so of course I wanted a mixture and I wanted it to kind of resemble a junk journal but be a little bit neater than a junk journal if that makes sense and I've already been making DIY embellishments um, if you haven't checked those out I'll um, I'll link a few of those videos down below but I also have a playlist with all of my DIY embellishment videos that I've like ever made and I think that I've added all of them to it and so I will try to see if I can add that playlist down below. If not, go to my channel and it should be on there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to continue cutting up my papers. I'm going to use pattern papers but I'm also going to use a couple of, pe a couple of pieces of this um, craft paper as well. And each of the pattern papers on the inside are going to be cut to four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the reason I did that was because um, the pockets that I said were 4x4 four four are actually slightly bigger. And so, and then I'll have to measure when I get to decorating, I'll have to measure my items before I actually stick them in those particular pockets. Now for my 3x4 pockets, those are going to be simply 3x4 cards are going to fit perfect in that. So now I'm going to move on to adding my pattern paper to my front and back covers. And then I'm going to go ahead and assemble the entire journal or book. Because I'm using loose binder rings, um, punching these papers is pretty easy because you don't really have to get them exact. Of course you want them fairly precise but not um, just totally exact. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab my rings and then I'm going to start filling the um, pages. Now 
The hole punch that I used was a Tim Holtz um, hole punch, but you can certainly use just like a single hole punch. You do not have to use this one. In fact, I use a single hole punch a lot when I'm doing this um, because the the Tim Holtz punch is only like, it's a certain distance or the two holes are a certain distance apart. So I don't always want that distance, if that makes sense. So um, I use that for this project, but I don't always use that. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill my book. I'm just going to kind of alternate my different um, patterns with my pocket pages and there's not really any rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of grabbing um, what I think looks good. And for some of them, I realized that like the the one 4x4 pocket with the different 2x2 two two pockets in it was a lot bigger than the other pockets. I feel like I'm saying pocket a lot. Um, <clears throat> so I actually ended up pulling that one out at the end because it was just stood out too much and I really wanted the book to look, I want to say clean, but um, I, I wasn't really going for the super, super messy look and so I wanted everything to kind of stay on the inside and yes there will be bulk and there will be like fun scraps and all kinds of stuff on the inside but um, on the outside I wanted it to appear like that everything was stuck on the inside and that I didn't want like the pockets hanging out. Now that doesn't mean I won't have like fabric bows and stuff like that but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I feel like I'm explaining this way too much. So anyway now that I have my book assembled I am going to do like just a really super quick flip through and I really love the way this came out. Um, I'm super excited to create my Thankful 30 album and I will be sharing my process on that and um, I'll probably do a few at a time just because I think sharing like one day at a time would be a little bit much and so maybe I'll do like five days at a time or something like that I'm not really sure um, or combine the videos and um, I think that's pretty much it I had a lot of fun creating this I hope you guys enjoyed this I will talk to you guys soon bye